What's up everybody? This is Aircrete Harry and today I'm doing a burn test. I have my torch here and I'll be burning a couple of different materials just to see how they handle the temperature. I'll be taking a uh, laser reading of the temperature as well as a thermal flare uh, camera image. So I'll be I'll be starting with my paper aircrete. Recently in the last video there was some comments made about the Epic saying that it was like paper crete and that it would burn. So I'm going to show everyone exactly what the Epic here does. This is the Epic and uh, I'll be putting a torch to that and we'll just see what kind of effect it has with it. So this here is a paper air crete. We'll be burning this as well. And some other smaller little scrap pieces that uh, weren't done on purpose, but they have a lot of foam in them. So I want to see how much of this foam melts once the torch is on there. And we'll do the same with this thinner piece. So we're going to get started with the paper aircrete first. Okay, I'm gonna turn my gas on. Uh, 422 degrees Fahrenheit is the temperature on the surface. Yep, that feels hot. I'm not touching it, of course. The back is cold. The back of that piece is reading 66 degrees. The front side is still hot. Getting 320, 279, 352. It's reading 293. We got 307. It's already cooling down. And what's not happening is a smoldering effect where some of the paper would be still lit and burning. And it's not doing that because of the particular procedure that I use in making this, as well as the amount of cement that's used. So this is my paper aircrete. This is paper mixed with cement and then expanded with shaving cream consistency type foam. Like a shaving cream foam that's used for aircrete. That's why this is the paper aircrete. So with this flame test, you can see for yourself, it does really good. I can almost just leave my hand on it. Um, so anyway, that's how the paper air creek worked. As I said, that was approximately five minutes, a good consistent five minutes. And the next one I do, I'll have gloves on because the heat started getting to my hands. So I needed to stop. Uh, but otherwise, I'll leave this here and actually put the next sample on top.
I definitely did smell the styrofoam burning. Let me take a temperature reading. It's reading uh, 521, 550, 600. Towards the edges is the hottest. 500 and 600. Towards the center is 400. Let's flip it over. This side is 400 also. So, that thin piece did not work as a great insulator. But, what's important is it didn't burn. Okay, so what's important is it didn't burn. Now, a real burn test you would want to do for at least 30 minutes and see what kind of effect the fire had on the sample. But you can see this is about a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more than a quarter inch thick sample that um, did not burn. And that's one of the main things we're showing here is that this stuff will not burn the way some regular paper creed does. Even my paper air creep and those air bubbles in the foam give it more insulation. Uh, the paper air creep worked superbly as well. It's already cooling down, and this is where I had that little sample on top of. I believe my hand there. So. That cools down really quick, the paper air creep. And this is the first time I'm actually doing the burn test with any of these samples. So I'm gonna do one more with this piece. This has uh, a lot of styrofoam beads at the top. And this was runoff. This is not the strongest, but this is a, an example of a very insulative mix that I would use. The piece doesn't burn. Once those outer uh, styrofoam beads burn, that's it, that's as far as it gets, is the outer styrofoam. It doesn't travel into the material. So this is fireproof up to, I've proven five minutes at least, but I'm almost certain a larger piece will not burn at all. We can just straight up give it a, a fireproof rating. So I'm going to measure this. I'm getting 58 degrees on this wall right now. I'm going to put the torch on this wall, which is about 6 inches thick. And I'm just going to heat it up for a while. And we'll see if this material will burn. Okay, so the wood is going to represent our standard timber stick frame built home.
Okay, that's what I was waiting for. Let's see what kind of temperature we got. Let me zoom out so we can see the flare camera. Zap. This is reading 356 degrees. I'm going to take a reading from the inside, point it towards that wall. Okay, well, this test was to show how the Epic does not burn like some people might think. I mean, if you had an option to live in a wood house or in a house made of Epic, what would you choose after seeing this burn test? Uh, I would think Epic would be the way to go. My personal opinion. Let's see if I could get a reading with our laser. I'm reading 446 degrees right next to the wood. 732, 699. The actual wood itself and smoldering still is 600 and the epic right next to it it's already going down in temperature I'm not sure that's visible four eighty five six fifty seven hundred so you see the temperature range see with the flare camera and it's a big hot spot in that one spot there the flare camera maxes out at 356 so although it shows 356 our laser uh, temperature gave us over 700 in some spots Get a little closer. Now, one of the things we can see is in this area, there's some cracking from the cement. Now, this area has gotten a little soft, but next to it is still solid. So we do have some weakening on the surface where that fire was going for I don't know how many minutes. That's why I got the clock here. Um, but it's soft on the outer edge, but this is only where the direct heat was. And this is a six inch thick wall. On the other side of this spot, on the other side of this wall, I got a 64 degree reading. This heat did not transfer through the six inches of epic uh, and it did not burn you can clearly see here there's no burning there's just some charring on the surface and some of the styrofoam at the surface melted but that was as far as this heat was able to affect it opposed to our uh, two by four here which completely burnt through during the same time period being in front of here so i was able now to prove with these tests that number one my paper air creep mix number one the paper air creep mix doesn't burn with the mix that i did and this particular mix was actually i'm pretty sure was done with paper mulch no I'm sorry 
with wood fiber mulch. And uh, I have to do another experiment with the paper mulch, but with this wood fiber mulch, it did not burn. And I know it's gonna be the same deal with the paper. Our epic wall did not burn. You saw the two by four burn completely through and the epic is still standing strong not burning that was the main thing so anyway that's it for now this is aircrete harry and this was the burn test on the paper aircrete and the epic and uh, i've done the aircrete already in the past so i already know that's not going to burn aircrete you're good as far as a fire barrier this being the newer stuff here the epic Expanded polystyrene paper infused cement was what needed to be tested. Test is done. Proof is in the video. That's it. Peace out. Love you all and I'll catch you later.